You agree with me about Love Island, <laughs> don't you? Oh, no, I do. I do. Well, I, to be fair, I've not seen it. If your daughter I went on Love Island... Not in a million years, I mean, no. I would disown my children. There is a Rosie on Love Island, of I course, know, and yesterday is. morning she came into the programme. She did. You totally tore a strip off her. No, I didn't. You I, she, could, you she was a law really... student. Mm, I know. And then... a law student, imagine training for law for years. Imagine getting to where you want to get to, a good job in law, and then giving it up after all that to go into that vacuous villa with the most brain-dead zombies in the world. But I mean, want to be why famous. would you do that? They want to be famous. They want to be on television, Lorraine. Yeah, they do. To be honest, there's three of us sitting here on television. We Absolutely. have no leg to so stand you two, on. You but I wouldn't do that to, to get on telly. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be squelchy on telly. But you know my problem, that. Lorraine, is this. Is it, is it Susanna's <laughs> all for, you know, looking after the, the sort of downtrodden in life, the ones who aren't the Quite body right beautiful. Too, yeah. You know, we shouldn't aspire. You do these pictures without makeup. You know, this is how I really look. You, can, you too can look like me. And actually, the reality about Love Island is the complete opposite of everything you stand for, because you can only get on it if you're as fit as a butcher's dog. That's the only <laughs> reason to be on it. Such a way to describe it. No, no, uglies, no uglies are allowed on it. But it's the it's opposite. a level playing field. And then it's much more interesting, because you're seeing how well, people put each other people. on... Well, maybe we'll do a version. I would, Personality, you need, you need to go Imagine putting in a couple of absolutely unbelievably ugly right. people. That would liven things up and it would make it more balanced and fair. It's <laughs> not a bad idea. You know who we've Actually got? Actually not a bad idea. Right, you've got Jeremy Corbyn, you've got Dan I was about Dyer, to say a great one. You. Pamela Anderson is our wag because right. she is dating okay. one of the French national team players okay. who plays down at Marseille. They're, they're, right. They've been together quite a while. So she's our wag. Yeah, Pamela right. Anderson. Never mind all her achievements <laughs> over her wag. career. She's now a wag. She's and a she's a close friend of Vladimir Putin. And when I interviewed yeah. her recently, she hinted at a potential past romance with Putin. Mm. <gasps> she, she did. Really? So oh, we'll have her that live as well. You wink with that. Don't you think he's charming the world, though, with this tournament? I do, yeah, thank you. Oh. No, 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 not you, not Sorry. you. Russia? But you remember beforehand... What a propaganda coup. Everybody was saying there's going to be, you know, blood in the streets, yeah. there's going to be all that. Yeah. Thank goodness that hasn't happened. No, thank goodness, but, right. but you know, we, know we right. made our officials not go. I know. Russia. That's right, because Prince William can't go. Yeah. Well, the problem... No, no, it's looking like one of the biggest coups... Mm. Well, it is, but in, in terms the end, of publicity and public relations. In the end, where could we actually play the World Cup where you couldn't be very critical of the country? Qatar is next, oh, right? Oh, With all their that. human rights issues. Oh, no, we're complaining United, about the heat now. United States no. of America got it. You could, if, you're, if you live in the Middle East, you might have very mm. strong views about some of their uh, human yeah. rights abuses and foreign policy. So I do think I'll be pragmatic about it. Give it to about. us. Yeah, Give it to us. Give it to us. Well, we're, we're, we, who invade a sovereign country in Iraq. So at what point do you say we're all squeaky clean? How dare we go to these countries? The Antarctica. Yes. <laughs> Let's go to Antarctica. Although apparently Maybe they treat cold. they treat Iceland. Eskimos terribly over there. No, that's human North... rights abuse. Oh, is it? North Antarctica. There's nobody in Antarctica apart from penguins. Really? Fantastic yeah. scientists. Are there no yeah. seriously don't no do Eskimos it. in? No, Antarctica. don't be so, don't you get Lorraine on Antarctica. You're talking about Lorraine being down. I know. This is the thing. He not shows other people Eskimo. up for them. I did not know there were no Eskimos you're in Antarctica. You're buffoon. You're buffoon. I really didn't know that. You're a psychopath and a buffoon. Honestly. Honestly. I'm 53, so technically that would be... You're only 53! Sorry. <laughs> All right. Are you fat-shaming me or age-shaming me? Or both? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so, actually, uh, you would be... 12, 29 would be the preferred age. Yeah. Which is clearly, I need to find... Um... Oh, I just need an 80-year-old man to sit next to you. <laughs> 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 Calling all if you don't know Do you know what it's like? It's like? It's actually like being in an arranged marriage where you, we didn't really know each other, did we? And we got put together for one week of experiment. Yeah. And it was And after fairly... that, I said, no, thanks. <laughs> she said, do not put him anywhere near me again, treating me a bit like Hannibal Lecter. And then now it's two and a half years later. It but it, it is... I mean, it's, it's like an arranged marriage without the good bits. But oh, it works so beautifully. Mm. It yeah. works amazingly. It and it's like brilliant it. television. It really is.